transpired since the last time we stood here and since the last time we came. Trouble on the horizon. Sickness. Even death. But all of us, in spite of it all, God has kept us. Don't take it for granted in God keeping us. The words say that he that keep the Israel and they can slumber or sleep. And we know that God watches over us. Why? Because we are faith walking people. Knowing that God will sustain us. So fear not don't be afraid, but please be cautious of your everyday walk and all that you come in contact with. And with that, the word of God will go forth at this time where it is taken from our Lord Gospel according to Matthew. The Gospel of Matthew in the 25th chapter, reading only the sixth verse, but the first 13 verses are for our teaching today. Matthew chapter 25. Reading only in verse 
verse number six for a text as well as a topic. To you who are parked on the premises, thank you for your presence and your support. We pray that God give you that you need for this day. The sixth verse of the 25th chapter of Matthew reads, And at midnight, there was a cry made. Behold, the bridegroom comes. Go ye out to meet him. All right. It says at midnight. All right. Our topic today is simply midnight. Right. That's what I have been assigned to talk to you about this one combined word, midnight. Midnight. Midnight is the middle, middle of the night. Specifically, saying midnight is 12 o'clock at night. And the word midnight is often used symbolically of a period resembling midnight. All right. Everybody don't know what midnight is, y'all. Many of you, if you lack me, you don't know when midnight came or went. All right, now. All right, now. <laughs> All right, now. now I, re I remember now, I, I didn't move until midnight. But now midnight, I can't move you. Because I'm sleeping. But midnight is a time of intense darkness, of extended gloom, darkness, gloom. In reality, midnight is the transition of one day into a new day. One week into a new week. One month into a new month. Twelve months into a new year. Midnight. And midnight uh, is our topic and text for today. Uh, it tells us in reading of the sixth verse that there was a cry. That was a loud voice at midnight. And the voice said, Behold, the bridegroom cometh. Go ye out to meet him. Midnight. And talk about midnight in our text is to talk about ten women. The Bible called them ten virgins. It opened up in the 25th chapter, verse 1. Then shall the kingdom of heaven be lacking unto ten virgins, which took their lamps and they went forth to meet the bridegroom. Is that in your Bible? And they identified them by saying that fire was wild. And fire was foolish. Where, where do you fit in 
saying what I'm saying? Because we live in a world where either you are wise or you a fool. And many times we praise the fool because of a lack of knowledge. But you can be wise because the Bible teaches us that if a man, a woman, lack wisdom, let him ask to God. Ladies and gentlemen, God will give you wisdom. Only the ten women, the five that were foolish, would have had enough oil when they left. They would have never been caught at midnight without oil. I want to talk to you today, and I'm going to walk with you today in the text because uh, you got to identify yourself in here, and in all of this has to do with preparation. You go on a journey, you got to prepare for a journey. You got to analyze that what you need in order to be successful on the journey. You just can't up and go and say, well, I'm going to join the procession, but I don't have enough of it. See, the problem with a whole lot of people is that we've been depending on others. There's something that you cannot gain or get from others. You got to ascertain it yourself. Here's the bold verse said, and the wise took all in their vessel with Ballet. Can't you see? They recognized the fact that it was going to get God. Preparation is to say that prepare for darkness. I don't care how much light you got or how much daylight you have. Rest assured that the daylight is going to come to an end and you're going to need something to identify you with at night. They took all who was wise, and the foolish one in verse 3, they that were foolish took their lamp and took no oil with them. When they left, the lamp was in. But they need another container. They call a little extra. Some on the side. Because when this went out, uh, I'm going to need to refill my vessel, right. and I need to have something on the side. All right. All right. You know, you know, I think about a lot of us in here, we love to drive our automobile. Uh -huh. But many of us have never checked the spare time. Uh -huh. We're riding on four. We're depending on four. Uh -huh. But one day, one of the wheels are going to go down. And then you sit beside the road. You ain't got to tell nobody you got a flat. <laughs> Anybody got vision, All they right. can see you're sitting sideways, something wrong, something right. <laughs> and you're waiting for somebody to come and change your flat. When they say, where is your flat? You don't know whether it's in the front, back, under, top, what. But you done took for granted driving on four wheels and you was going to get where you're going and there will never be a flat along the way. Life would trip you like that. All right. All right. All right. All right. You, you got to always know where your jack is All right. and your jack ain't no good if you don't know where to handle to it. Can I talk?
The wine took all in that vessel with, with that lamp while the bridegroom tarried. They all slumbered and slept. Ladies and gentlemen, I come by to tell you that the church has gone to sleep. The church is slumbering. The church has become obsolete, somewhat unimportant. We blame it on COVID-19, but what you gonna do when the virus has passed? You say now we, or oh, in the new norm, Lord forgive me, but I pray that this ain't the new norm. Be because, because we, we got to bounce back. We, we got to do some things that's different, and we got to strategize sometimes. You know, I ain't saying going back to what used to be, because sometimes God can bring on hedonistic participation to make us realize that you need to make some changes. You know what I'm saying? What
I'm tired of all of this advertisement. I don't care who running. I'm tired of party folks. I'm tired of conservative and independent folks. Because after November 3rd, you ain't gonna know who's what. But between now and then, everybody gonna be on blast.
and we use the lamp for light. And there's a wick on the lamp that you can turn it down and you can turn it up. And these ten birds 
That's all the land covers. That's why it teaches us to be ready. Be ready. When Jesus returns to take his church to heaven, we must be ready. Our relationship with God must be our own relationship. When the possession got back and those who was asleep, they heard the voice that cried out at midnight.